Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use macros to co apply commonly used filters to what are usually quite large sets of data. So this is very useful if you regularly have to perform the same task, maybe every month end, you need to open up a spreadsheet and apply quite a few filters, which are always the same. You can use macros to basically have those preset. You can press a button and it will filter it for you and you don't have to constantly click the filters that you need to apply. So we're going to jump into this one. Before you do this, you do need to have followed my other video on how to enable macros to run, which is being linked now. So if you've not done that, please go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to get started. As you can see in our example, we have some data sets in relation to service contracts. I may always at the end of the month need to see all the bronze contracts for my north location as an example. So I'm going to show you how we can record a macro to do this. So to get started, first of all, you need to go to data and you need to go to filter. But before we do this, we need to highlight the column we want the filters to apply to, so the headers, so we press filter. And when we do this, we notice that we have a drop down arrow, which I can use to filter the data through. So once you've got to this stage, what we need to do, the easiest way to do this is to use the record macro feature. So we go to developer and we go to record macro. Now when you press record macro, it will record every mouse click or action that you do. So you need to make sure that when you press this button, you only apply the filters that you want. Okay, so in my example, I'm going to apply bronze to my A column and north to my B column. So I press record, I give it a name. So I'm going to call this bronze north, okay? When you put a macro name in, you're not allowed spaces, okay? I want to make sure I store it in this workbook and I press okay. Now the macro is recording. So I'm going to go unselect all and press bronze and press okay. I'm also going to select all and press north. Okay, when I've applied the macros that I want, so you can obviously do this as many times as you wish, you then need to press stop recording. Okay, so once we've done that, we've got our macro recorded and saved. I'm going to remove the filters. Okay, now what I need to do is go to home. Sorry, I need to go to insert, sorry. I need to go to shapes and you can apply any shape that you wish. Okay, you can have a circle, you can have a square, but a square is easy to add some text into this. I'm going to right click it and press edit text. I'm going to caption it North Bronze. You can do this more than once, you see, so you could have a number of different macros with filters attached to them. You could have a South Gold, for instance. You just repeat this process. Once I've put my shape in and I've called it what I wish, I right click it, I go to assign macro, and you can see that I've got Bronze North here. So I click this and press OK. That assigns the macro to the shape. When I click this now, it applies the macro for me. So, very easy to do. Just make sure if you haven't done so already to follow my other guide on how to enable macros to run in your workbooks. If this has been helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.